Number 3. To calculate the area of the following, take choice of circle. So letter A, radius 9 cm, angle subtended at the center is 75 degrees. In letter B, diameter 35, then yung angle ay 48 degrees 37 minutes. Then yung letter C, diameter 5, angle subtended 2.19 radians. So nandito yung lahat ng mga sagot. And then, ito yung ating figure. Take note yung mga given value ng angle. Pag degrees nila. And then, yung unknown area. So, solution for letter A. So, the given again, 9 cm for the radius. Theta is equal to 75. Take note, our formula is 1 half theta r square. So, theta r, then yun, this is your s. Although, hindi naman na kailangan yung s. Okay, take note, yung theta ay naka-radians dapat. Okay, so area is equal to 1 half yung angle, theta r square. Okay, so we need to convert 75 degrees into radian. So 1 half, 75 degrees, convert that into radian. So we have pi over 180 degrees. So this is the conversion of degrees to radian. Multiplied by our radius is 9 square centimeter or 9 centimeter square. So this is equal to 53.01 square centimeter. That is for letter A. For letter B, given are diameter and theta. So take note, we have diameter 35. Okay. So therefore, we need to solve the radius. So, the radius therefore is equal to d over 2 or that is 35 over 2 that is equal to 17.5 millimeter. So, therefore, our area will be 1 half theta r square again. So, this is equal to 1 half multiplied by theta. So, our theta here is 40 degrees 37 minutes. So, we need to convert this into region. So, either dito kayo mag-convert or dito, okay lang din. So, yung theta natin dito, pwede natin siyang gawing degrees muna. Pwede nyo gawin yun dito sa calculator. Type mo lang. 7 degrees. Then, equal. Then, press this button. So, 48.62 degrees. Or, simply yung 37, divide nyo lang ng 60. I-add nyo yung sagot dun sa 48. So, 48.62 din. So, 48.62 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 multiplied by your radius is 17.5 square. So, our unit here will be square millimeter. So, 129.94 square millimeter. For letter C, so, we have the given diameter, 5 cm, and our theta is 2.19 region. So, yung angle hindi nyo na kailangan mag-convert. But, you need to solve for the radius. Divide this by 2. Or, your radius is be equal to 2.5. So, we can solve the area. And half, theta again, r square. So, our theta is 2.19. So, 1 half. Theta 2.19 each and multiplied by your radius. So, or simply 5 over 2. Yung ito, radius dapat, hinato lang natin to. So, meaning yung solution nyo dito, pwede rin ganito dito. So, meaning yung solution nyo dito, pwede nyo ipalit to. 35 over 2 dito. That is equal to 6.84 square centimeter. For number 4, determine the area of the template shown. So, before solving this one, so we need to observe the given. So, we have a rectangular shape and we have here a quarter circle. So, we are going to determine the area of this shaded part. So, meaning we need to subtract this area of the quarter circle to the area of the rectangle. So, ito yun. So, area ng required ito, shaded area, is equal to area ng rectangle yung buo minus yung quarter circle. Ang quarter circle, ibig sabihin yan, one fourth ng isang circle. So, ang area ng circle ay circle is pi r square. So, therefore, yung quarter circle 
ay ay one part lang nito. So therefore, ang area nito ay pi r square over 4 lang. So ito 'yan. Okay, so this is equal to yung area ng rectangle, so base times height lang. So base times height. Ito yung binate, ito yung height. Then ito naman, so quarter circle, ito yun, pi r square over 4. Take note, quarter circle. So equal to base is 90, multiplied by 120. So again, millimeter, millimeter. So ang unit natin ng area ay square millimeter. Okay, minus pi, your radius is 80. Square, again, this is in millimeter, so therefore, per millimeter din to. Over 4. So, this is equal to 5,773.45 square millimeter. 